First off, a quick warning. There will be major spoilers for the plot of Fall of Porcupine in this video. How could there not be? I'm explaining the ending. But I thought it was worth mentioning. Okay, now let's get to it. Fall of Porcupine tells the story of Finley, a pigeon doctor who's trying to find his footing after taking a job in a small town hospital. Also, someone tried to murder him during the prologue? But that's less of a plot point than you'd assume, and we never actually find out who did it. I mean, it was definitely Hydric, but that's not confirmed. While most of the story moves at a fairly good pace, the overarching plot concerns rising tensions between the town and the hospital staff, things really accelerate at the end, with characters suffering through a massive health crisis in the town, followed by a hospital fire. And then the game just kind of stops. There's a glut of QTs as the player tries to survive the night helping various patients in a makeshift emergency room. We get a look at the destroyed hospital, and then it's over. The only epilogue or denouement we get are a few photos of the aftermath. Hydric getting arrested, Julio stopping by his mother's grave, the idiot teens, and of course, confirmation that the rooster head of medicine perished in the hospital fire, as we suspected. This leaves one major question unanswered. What exactly? caused the major health crisis that led to all of the drama at the end of the game. The hospital fire is simple enough to explain. The bad storm that caved in the roof caused extensive damage to the wiring on the fifth floor, so when they tried to turn the power on, it started an electrical fire. The ramshackle state of the hospital is established over and over again, so this isn't that much of a surprise. The illness, on the other hand, isn't explained at all. Why has everyone in the town suddenly taken ill all at once? and with a disease so bad that they're dying in the emergency room of internal bleeding. We never hear about a diagnosis, get a concrete explanation, or even hear details about specific treatments that could offer some hints. Luckily, the game provides enough clues to let us know what actually happened to the town of Porcupine to cause the titular fall. The first comes in the ending montage I mentioned earlier. Take a look at the photos that the game chooses to highlight. It seems like each one is a follow-up to a significant plot point. Giuliano's there because his mother was the first patient that Finley lost, making her a significant part of his story. Hydric being arrested is key because he's the villain who is sabotaging the hospital to line his own pockets. The Bulldog is there, helping with the reconstruction to wrap up the plotline of him being the hospital's greatest foe, as he blames the doctors there for the death of his wife. So if three of those pictures make perfect sense to include in the montage, closing off storing arcs as they do, what are the idiot deer teens doing there? If the game wanted to check in on a patient, there are plenty to choose from. Workaholic bat, asthma teen, adorable owl girl, alcoholic doctor. Why show us the deer idiots again? While it could be that their insistence on hurting themselves over and over suggests that there's always going to be a need for the hospital, it's more likely that they're here to close off the last of the game's major plot lines, the town's major medical crisis. How could this single Polaroid serve that purpose? We have to start by asking exactly what they were in the hospital for. Although opinions differ on exactly what it was originally, the deer teens dared one another to drink a spoiled liquid that contained shigella, a bacteria that caused severe intestinal damage, almost killing one of them. The symptoms we hear about, vomiting and intestinal distress, are the same ones suffered by the whole town during the game's climax, so it's reasonable to assume that another bacterial infection is to blame. But how would it affect the whole town at once? The only normal way for entire areas to get sick simultaneously is if the water supply is somehow compromised. But for all of its problems at the hospital, Porcupine is a modern town with a water treatment system that we have no reason to suspect has ever been compromised. So what could have happened to all of these people? There's actually an answer in the game. Although it's understandable if people miss it, as it's only discoverable, like the Owl Girl quest, if players go to optional locations and have optional conversations. When traveling to the hospital each day, there are three options of how to get there. Take the bus and skip all non-essential plot elements, head down through the High Street shopping area, or walk through the Old Town where the bar and town square are. Which course they take is frequently controlled by the plot, but the player has to actively interact with people along the way if they want to find out what's going on in the town. So let's talk about the town square, which is dominated by a statue of the town founder sitting in the middle of a fountain. Like all of the statues in the game, Finley can stop and have imaginary conversations with this one, because Finley is a little weird. That's not the only role the statue plays in the game, though. Walking through the old town on the correct day will allow the player to see one of the Beaver brothers who run construction in the area. Talking to him will reveal that he's getting the fountain in working order so that it can be running during the upcoming Founders Day celebration. Note his comments here about the condition of the fountain.
So now we've established that these are old, dirty pipes, and more importantly, that the Beaver Brothers are not going to be cleaning them in any meaningful way. This leads to a clear implication. That fountain is going to be filled with water that's rusty at best and filled with bacteria at worst. But how could that be a problem? I mean, it's not like everyone's going to be drinking out of the fountain, are they? Well, actually, let's check in on the Founders Festival the next night. As part of the celebration, they switch the fountain on and it fills with hot water, causing a pleasant fog effect on the cold autumn evening. So that's dirty water, which is also warm, making it a perfect breeding ground for bacteria. That could still be fine, unless... That's right, because of tradition, they use the fountain water as a base for the stews in the annual stew-making competition. And a huge part of the town makes it a point to sample the stews, and a huge part of the town gets sick in the next few days. So that's what happened. The fountain poisoned everyone via the stew competition. The game doesn't confirm this, of course, but all of the clues are there. The game goes out of its way to point out that Finley doesn't have any of the stew, and neither does the Silver Jaguar Doctor, who missed the festival. And they're both fine. As are the people who make the stews, like Mia Hydric and Stationery Store Dog. They're too busy making and serving the food to eat it themselves, of course. Hopefully this answered any questions you might have had about this wonderful game's grand finale. I've been the Hidden Object Guru, thanks for watching. If you had a good time, please remember to like and subscribe. Any questions, comments, or suggestions for video topics should be put in the comments section below the video. We'll see you back here for the next thing, but until then I'll say that's right, au revoir.